Hello. Hi. My name is Kurt. Hey, my name is Kurt too. I like to play with computers. I like playing on computers. I like to sit up on the internet. Yep. We can do fun. Hard all night long. That's uh-huh. right, my fellow mates. Yep. Yep. I enjoy very much playing around on the internet. Yes. Chatting sir. and playing and yes. listening to music and enjoying life. Shut up already. Okay, so today I'm going to be doing an unboxing of the Raspberry Pi Model 2 Revision B. I went ahead and purchased a Vilros, um, what's called the, the Vilros Ultimate Starter Kit. This kit comes with just about everything but the kitchen sink uh, to get started with your Raspberry Pi. Looks like they went all out this time. Um, instead of the white box, they made a custom printed box. So it looks like they are trying to design quality into their products. Okay. Getting to the unboxing here. We do have the Raspberry Pi. comes in a nice anti-static wrap. Before you're handling your Raspberry Pi, always touch a metal object, or better yet, purchase yourself uh, an anti-static wrist strap and connect it to a metal object so that you're grounded. That way you don't damage your electronics with static electricity from your fingertips. And that pretty much is the whole computer right there. That's the whole enchilada. Comes with four USB ports. These are USB 2 ports, not USB 3. Comes with an Ethernet um, plug or socket. Your general purpose input output pins right along the one edge. These are what you will be connecting to your breadboard through a breakout uh, card. Right in the center is the heart of the entire unit that is. The, uh, the ARM processor, ARM V7A. On the underside, there's a chip in the middle. That is your memory card. On this end, you have your micro SD card slot. Okay, and then on this side, you have an audio jack. It's also uh, it's a combination jack, actually, and this is for uh, connecting to a composite connection on a, on a regular TV set that doesn't have HDMI. And it also does audio. Okay, and then right here, we have your HDMI port. I do believe this, this right here, one of these two, I, I'm not sure what's what here. One or both are to connect a video camera. So there's our little computer. Okay, and then later on down the road, I'm gonna be doing some videos on how to connect your Raspberry Pi to a circuit, or what's called a breadboard, solderless breadboard, and you will be using these wires that come with the kit. These are jumper wires that plug into the holes of your uh, breadboard. And then you can jump from one, uh, one area to another area where your components are pressed into the board and you can create your circuits. They include a very small breadboard uh, for our purposes in future videos when I start showing everyone what to do here, at least my loyal followers. I'll probably be recommending a larger breadboard. However, this will get us started. Vilros includes a package with LEDs. There's a 
some yellow LEDs, red LEDs, little push button switches. And we will be using these to test circuits that we build with the Raspberry Pi 2. Veros includes a micro SD card with a micro SD card adapter, so you can plug it into a regular computer. Vilros has gone all out with this. They've in, uh, included what's called Noob on this card to make it much, much easier for beginners to get started with a Raspberry Pi 2. Noob stands for New Out of Box. And it, what it is, it's a little program that uh, when you first fire up your Pi, you can select which operating system you will want to install. Uh, they include one that you can use, um, I think it's called Open Elec. You can use that to create a, a multimedia player from your Raspberry Pi to your entertainment center. Store all of your movies on either the, the card on your Pi or on an external uh, hard drive. You, know, you can uh, play your movies, your MP3s, your music files, look at your pictures all through the Raspberry Pi controlling it with a wireless keyboard or even a television remote control if you uh, plug in um, an infrared detector on, on your Pi. I think you can purchase that as a, a small like, kit or a little sensor kit or whatever. So that's what we'll be using there. They include a ribbon cable that plugs onto your GPIO pins. The light is not the best here. You connect that from your GPIO pins on your Raspberry Pi uh, over to the breakout board that's connected onto your breadboard. Of course, like I, again, I'll, I'll be going through all this at a later date, so never fear. Bill Ross includes an Edimax USB or yeah, it's a USB Wi-Fi adapter. So once you've got your Raspberry Pi up and running and you want to make it so you don't have to have it connected to your wireless router anymore, we will be setting this up to run a wireless Wi-Fi adapter. And I'll be showing you how. Ross also contains a bag which has the rest of the goodies in there. In this bag, you have a plastic case. I would highly recommend using this plastic case to protect your Raspberry Pi from static electricity, um, water. Of course, this isn't waterproof. Be, you know, I better <laughs> be upfront with that. It's not waterproof, but it'll at least get the static electricity away from your Raspberry Pi and uh, keep it from coming into contact with metal objects which may short pens or short the, the traces on the board, whatever. So you'll definitely want to put that into your pie or put your pie into that. Okay. They include a USB cable. Connect from your Pi to your computer monitor, HDMI uh, computer monitor. They also include a uh, wall wart. This is your power supply for your Raspberry 2. And I was going to try to read this to give you the specs on this. They include, let's see. This is a two amp power supply. Plenty enough to run your Raspberry Pi and add a couple of peripherals to your Raspberry Pi and it should be plenty. I think you can go up to three amps from your power supply as a matter of fact. However, the Raspberry Pi doesn't you know, put that through to your devices, I don't think. Not, not all three amps, but uh, this will definitely get you going. And of course, last but not least, and this is the highlight of the entire 
kit is a Villarose Raspberry Pi 2 user's guide. This user's guide is 200 and some pages long. 208 pages long. They take you all the way from taking your Pi out of the box, showing you what everything is, They take you through uh, Python programming, which is a scripting language. Running uh, Scratch, which is a uh, programming environment for young people and adults. If you've never programmed before, you could use Scratch to learn the, the basics, the general idea of programming. And uh, it's a, overall, it's a very, very nice manual. They go through just about everything you could possibly imagine in here. Very much worth the price. This is the kit right here. This manual is the kit. You won't receive this with a lot of other kits out there. You may actually get the, uh, the little Raspberry Pi 2 uh, starters manual, but nothing like this. So there you have it. This is the Raspberry Pi uh, Ultimate Starter Kit by Vilros. Um, there are other kits out there, of course. There's the Kana kit or Kana kit. I'm, I'm not sure how they pronounce it. I think it's Kana kit. Uh, they also include quite a few items. I chose this kit because of the manual and the other reviews that I've seen about the manual and uh, the fact that they throw in an HDMI cable. You may have a second monitor somewhere and you may, you may want a, another HDMI cable to use. So. Um, just about everything here, and uh, when I start doing my classes, my uh, educational video series here on YouTube, I will be using this kit to do all of the experiments. And uh, if you would like to be following along with those, I would highly recommend getting the Vilros kit instead of another kit, because um, the LEDs in other kits may have different voltages or different uh, milliamp ratings, which will require you to have to do some math to figure out what uh, size resistor to use to protect your LEDs. Um, plus, they may they just may not have, you know, they may not have as many jumper wires with, of different sizes. They may not give you a car that has noob on it. Uh, they may not give you the uh, the Wi-Fi adapter. So, how do I recommend this kit? This is the one I will be using in my follow along series so there you go folks i hope you enjoyed the video uh I've, it's been a long day at work so i'm kind of tired <laughs> but i uh, figured i would go ahead and get this done um, unboxing isn't uh, rocket science or surgery so just a simple little video no scripts i haven't scripted anything um but anyways i guess i'll just read this basic rundown real quick on the way out here uh so here's what everything in these bags and everything all included you get a clear see-through protective case 207 or 208 page Vilros Raspberry Pi 2 user guide Edimax 150 megabits per second Wi-Fi USB dongle an 8 gigabyte micro SD card preloaded with noob an SD card adapter USB power supply with micro USB cable HDMI cable Two small heat sinks. I do believe that is in um, one of these packages here. I did not see those, so I'm kind of wondering if I even got those. They're supposed to include it in here, so I haven't taken all these little parts and pieces out of the bags yet, so I'm not quite sure where it is if it's here. But that's what's it's that's what's advertised on YouTube or on uh, Amazon. Sorry, uh, breadboard, the jumper wires. You also get the GPIO ribbon cable with a break, breakout board, 10 yellow LEDs, 10 red LEDs, uh, 330 ohm resistors. I believe that's in the LED kit, the little bag that has your LEDs. These, uh, the resistors are wrapped up in these little packages inside of there. Some 10 kilo ohm resistors and two 12 millimeter buttons that we will be using to uh, reset your your program in your 
uh, Raspberry Pi or reset your circuit board, whatever I mean. <laughs> Trying to think of what to say. Anyways, there we go, folks. Um, get your kit and be looking forward to more videos. See you later.